What's up, guys? Coffee time here with your favorite chess YouTuber, Light Squares. Don't worry, I haven't gone anywhere. I just don't have any Twitch clips to fill up my channel with junk and expect you to watch it. Yeah. And so, in this video, I'm going to ask one of the most important questions of all time in all walks of life, which is In fast time controls, should you be playing losing gambits instead of the major openings? Let's put that question up on the screen. In fast time controls, key point, we're not talking about classical chess, we're talking about blitz, rapid, faster stuff. Should you be playing? losing gambits instead of the major openings and so on the surface it just sounds like a hell no losing gambits are losing beyond a certain rating threshold you're just going to meet skilled players people who know the reputation lines you're just going to lose games throw away elo however when you dive into the statistics and i'm going to use my favorite thing in the whole wide world you know what that is the lead chess database which has billions of games you notice that the answer to this question is not so clear and perhaps all of us amateurs out there should be open to the idea of playing dubious flaky gambits instead of the rock solid conventional openings okay so let's be clear about what we mean by major openings and losing gambits and so major openings is obviously something that steeped in history played over and over again by grandmasters approved of by the engine and so for example something like the queen's gambit decline which is on your screen right now how do we get here we have d45 c4 queen's gambit and now e6 makes it the queen's gambit decline alternatively another major opening in this position is for black to play this move c6 which is known as the slav defense okay and this is all happening after just two moves if you want to avoid the major openings altogether after d4 you could just play this move e5 which is known as the onglin gambit and now white is in a completely winning position it's about plus one plus two on the engine white can go up a pawn and defend it and we have d takes e5 and here the second move for black can be one of two major lines here which is to play this move bishop c5 or play knight c6 so in either of these cases, black is losing. However, black is hoping for some trickery. So for example, in this position, we have knight to f3, d6, e takes d6, knight to e7, which is a trap. And now we have takes, and white is lost because of bishop takes f2, king takes f2, and now queen takes queen. Alternatively, in the two knight c6 lines in the Anglian gambit, what black is hoping for is that after knight f3, queen e7, bishop f4, queen b4, check. The bishop is hanging we have bishop d2 queen takes b2 and now black is hoping that white is going to play this move bishop to c3 white is lost because of bishop b4 there's no way to defend against this position let's say we have bishop takes b4 knight takes b4 there is a double attack here on this c2 pawn and white is just completely losing and so on the surface it just sounds like the first two openings that i showed you for example the Queen's Gambit Decline or the Slav Defense are just completely rock solid and sound. And so therefore should be much better than the Anglin Gambit, even in faster time controls. However, when you look at the statistics around this in the Lee Chess database, you simply don't get that picture. Okay, so I put this table together using the Lee Chess database. It shows the Lee Chess win rates for black in the openings I described above. So we have two tables here. One is for rapid chess, one is for blitz chess. And so we have here QGD, Queen's Gambit Decline, Slav, Anglin Gambit, two Bishop C5 lines, and Anglin Gambit, two Knight C6 lines. And so you can see here, when someone has an average rapid rating of 2,500, so a pretty strong player, when they're playing the black pieces, they are winning 43% of QGD games, 43% of Slav games, 43% of two Bishop C5 Anglin Gambit games, and then with two Knight C6, it's high as 45% percent and so sure the Anglin gambit is losing however this is just not reflected in the win rates in fact Anglin gambit players are doing slightly better and this statistics become more pronounced as you go down the rating ladder so you can see here for 2000 1600 1200s that the Anglin gambit win rates actually climb to as high as 48 percent and you can see this trend is also there in blitz chess it's even more pronounced so you can see here that for 2500s in blitz they're winning some 43% of QGD games, 42% of Slav games. However, for Anglin Gambit, it's 45 and 47% respectively. And as you go down the rating ladder, it climbs as high as 49%. So sure, Anglin Gambit is losing. The engines hate it. However, there are just enough people out there who don't know the refutation lines, who get themselves into a losing position with the white pieces. And so there are plenty of wins here for people with the black pieces. Okay, so you might think this is your license to go ahead and play gambits, but you have to be careful. Some gambits are not going to be effective. And in fact, playing conventional openings over some of these gambits is much better. Let me give you an example of this. So on the screen right now, we have the black mile, demar mile gambit. And so this is achieved after, say, d4, d5. And now this move e4, black is in a winning position. 
white is just giving away a pawn and what white is hoping for in this position is something like this this is one of the holy grail traps after d takes e4 f3 takes knight takes f3 knight f6 bishop c4 black can lose by playing this move bishop to g4 we can play knight e5 and if they decide to take the queen then bishop takes f7 is checkmate okay there are many ways in which white can win even though black is in a completely winning position but this is just one of them and so instead of playing the black mal d mal gambit in the second move you could just go with the conventional approach which is to play c4 the queen's gambit or you could play the london system both rock solid approaches and so if we put statistics up on the screen for that you can see here that actually going with the conventional openings go with the rock solid stuff qg or london system has much higher win rates than if you played the black mark d mark gambit and so you have to be careful about the gambits that you employ hey you know what question is even more important than the one we're asking today where are all the aliens this is known as the fermi paradox asked by enrique fermi the physicist who basically asked it to fellow physicists in the 1950s and he basically asked given the vastness of space why is there no conclusive evidence of extraterrestrial beings good question and so there are many solutions to this problem and i want you to give me one of yours below just confuse the hell out of people who skipped this video early thank you very much okay so perhaps the best example of just playing losing gambits over the major openings is in the petrov where black can elect to play the stafford gambit which is losing over say the main lines and so what is this we have this on the screen right now the stafford gambit how do we get here we have e4 e5 knight f3 knight f6 knight takes e5 and now the stafford gambit begins with this move knight to c6 and you can watch tons of youtube videos about this but the holy grail here for players with the black pieces remember black is completely losing here it's about minus excuse me plus two on the engine we have knight a c6 d takes c6 d3 bishop c5 and now bishop g5 loses because of knight takes e4 if they decide to take the queen here on d8 we have bishop takes f2 king e2 and now bishop g4 is checkmate so there are tons and tons of traps here where white can get into a losing position after the stafford gambit is on the board but white is technically winning instead in this position what black could do is to play the main line so if you go into the masters database the main approach here is to play this move d6 this is what top players will do however what's fascinating about this is if you put up the statistics here for blitz and rapid and so let me put up on the screen you can see here that in rapid chess that if people go down the main line so 3d6 whether they're 2500 or 1200 the win percentages are around 44 43 percent but you can see when they're playing the stafford gambit either it's equal at the highest level of chess here online or it gets much higher high as 51 percent when you're looking at 1600 1200 levels in blitz the stats are even more favorable towards stafford gambit players you can see that even when you have 2500 rated players in blitz so these are strong players 3d6 which is the main line which is the principal play, way to play has a much worse win rate than if you played the stafford gambit so sure stafford gambit is completely losing it's plus two on the engine sure you're going to meet players who know the refutation lines but still there are just tons of people that just don't know how to deal with this and so you're going to pick up tons of easy victories in the process okay so should you play losing gambits over the major openings i definitely think that you should think about it in fast time controls there is an enormous time to calculate certain gambits offer better winning chances it doesn't matter whether the engine thinks that you're losing at the end of the day what matters is how your opponents react and sure there are going to be a whole bunch of people that know the refutation lines and know how to crush you but there seems to be a whole bunch of people even at strong rating levels that don't know how to deal with this stuff and get themselves into completely losing positions perhaps the best argument i can make for not playing these losing lines is if you want to take your over the board classical chess career seriously and this is something that holds me back from playing these kind of losing gambits i just want to play the major stuff because i know that one day i want to take over the board chess more seriously classical chess more seriously and it bodes well if i play the major stuff now and get used to it rather than playing these losing gambits and then try to pick up something more rock solid later but you can leave your thoughts below thank you very much for your time